Jake's installing our backsplash. Our handy in-house tile expert. Got some Papa John's. Pizza Pizza doesn't deliver to our neighborhood yet, so this was our only option. Figured our kitchen is kind of out of order. Probably best to order something in. This is what the tile sheets look like. It's a very intricate pattern. Yeah, she made it easy on me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm a designer. What can I say? Things in life are never easy. Sean Patterson, ladies and gentlemen. More mud. More mud. I'm just trying to not use excess so I don't waste it. Mm. Right now, I'm taking a break, so. True. All the big sheets out all the way up to the top it's looking great so all the intricate cuts which take a really long time and then we have to grow it we got a big delivery today please no that is there it got us couch delivered in his office we plan on putting it right there in his office we ordered the couch from wayfair peek through there Cowabunga. He wants to be in everyone's face at all times. Buddy, watch out! My new light picture that's also from Wayfair as well. It was a pain in the butt to install though. So <laughs> keep that in mind if you want to order it. I will try and link it below for you guys. Here's a look at the couch all set up. I was confused because when we got it, it didn't smell like real leather like the classic leather smell so i was like did we get gypped but i mean the listing says it's genuine leather so i'll believe them maybe it was just treated or something and it doesn't smell like the classic leather smell looks good so you can sit back and watch your movies and then jake got this little throw blanket to go over the back of the couch he has a vision for the space and it's all coming together and sort of make it like a little boho Surfer vibe, these ones. Where did you pick these up off of? Red Bubble, American Print site. So those are gonna go up on that wall, mm -hmm. I think. And then he has this, like a kitchen countertop material that we picked up from Ikea. He's gonna swap this out for his desk. Now I don't think I'll see any more because we'll see down here, hey? Yeah, <laughs> you finally get your space. <laughs> so we are planning on taste testing our wedding food tonight the caterers that we were planning on hiring for our wedding. We selected the menu options that we were looking to go with. So the caterer is actually coming to our house to bring the dishes to us so that we can sample the entrees and the desserts, see how everything's gonna taste before we sign a contract with them. It's not a restaurant catering service where you could go and like sample the food there. And it's not like a venue that supplies their own in-house restaurant that does the catering for the venue. We're bringing it in. So I thought that was really nice. They just offered to bring an entree sample. So I'm looking forward to that. It's so exciting. <laughs> We're officially in wedding planning mode. We have our venue booked, our photographer videographer is booked, our DJ is almost booked, and I've been looking into getting floral quotes. This is the caterer. We've looked into a bunch of different caterers, and this is the one that we want to go with, and that works in our budget. Oh, we have our day of coordinator also booked, and I feel like I'm forgetting one. Oh, our bartender. Still have a lot of time. We're not planning on getting married until summer of 2022. That's when our date is booked for, but it's better to get started on things earlier, I guess. And then we get to lock in, you know, earlier prices while they still have the 2021 prices rolled out so that it's not a big bump up. So that is really nice that we get to save a little bit that way because a lot of vendors usually don't roll out their extra pricing till closer to the date. So if you book early, you get to take advantage of the lesser pricing because most vendors up their prices year to year. Of a beef option, a chicken option, and then for our guests at the wedding, we're doing a vegetarian option as well. We have two dessert options that we're sampling tonight. We can't decide if we want the apple crumble, which is Jake's favorite dessert, so that's why he like right off the bat was like, yep, yeah, we're having apple crumble. But my mom is leaning towards this sort of trio dessert that they have. It's like a strawberry, I think some sort of tiramisu, and like a little mini piece of cheesecake, so it kind of presents really nicely. I will taste test it and see if it is something that we like. And we're doing a 
salad for appetizer and then we'll have like pass hors d'oeuvres at cocktail hour but those are just standard so i'm sure that they'll be fine it's just so exciting like <laughs> like planning your wedding and like I can't believe a caterer is bringing me my potential wedding reception food like that's just crazy to me crazy I will hopefully get some shots of the food for you guys so you can see what it looks like I don't know how presented it'll be because it might just be in like a takeout container kind of looking thing vegetarian option the dessert salad we got chicken and steak, bacon wrap prosciutto, mashed potatoes, roast potatoes is the apple crumble sample. Jake brought a Tesla home from work, so we're gonna go take it for a little drive. I've never been in a Tesla before, so I'm excited to test it out. It's so weird getting into the driver's seat and not having any dash controls, like no speedometer, no nothing. It's just completely empty. It's a really weird experience, but it just takes some getting used to. So we're gonna go give it a little drive and see how we like it. Tesla. Trying out autopilot now on the highway. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's no <laughs> no drinking and driving. <laughs> we got a nice responsible star from the Starbucks. Oh wild. Crazy. 